evokes a, a lot of uh, fond memories. Um, li literally lived, you know, down the road there, um, a few hundred yards from here, and, and you know, seeing this place, um, you know, remembering the young, you, you know, I was young, playing football in there, having youth club in there, um, you know, doing a lot of, th you know, a lot of my early years were spent in in Murray House, and you know, obviously to to see it now and where we, we're potentially on the prep precipice of um, you know re renovating and regenerating and making it into a hub where you know so many more kids so many more families um, can can get value from from using the facilities um, you know economically you know socially uh, you know at welfare education it, I mean it's it's for me it's it's brilliant to be able to come back I guess 20 20 odd years later and, and see that you know this place can can still have an effect a positive effect like it had on me and and that's what I'm excited about obviously it's great that we've you know we've got this grant from from the three authorities uh, and, and I'm, I'm just you know super proud of of how hard you know everyone's worked to make this happen it's not just you know about Newcastle United Foundation it's the whole city coming together and obviously we've still got a little bit to go and, and, and it, but it's great that you know the authorities you know deem that this is a worthwhile project to, to really back and to invest that money into um, so hopefully other businesses can do the same. You know, it's two million, two million pound. You know, that goes a huge way in, in, into sort of, um, you know, f helping us reach our target. You know, we've still got, you know, quite a bit to go, uh, but you know that, you know, that is, you know, a big chunk of what we need. And you know that, you know, when we when we started this 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 project, you know, I think um, we understood that it would take, I guess, the, the community, the council, and and all the authorities to, to buy into what we were trying to, to build. Because, like I said before, it's, it is, this is not just about Newcastle United Foundation. It's about the whole city. It's about the whole region. And we want everyone to be to feel a part of that. So, you know, it's, you know, we're just so pleased and, you know, we're so thankful that the, the council have been able to, to give this amount of money. And like I said, hopefully that will help, um, you know, go on a more interest in, 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 and more investment into, into what we need to, to make this um, what we all hope it will be um, come in the next few years. You know, coming from humble beginnings, you know, like I say, and, and seeing how, how much, um, you know, football and the community and the foundation can have an influence on people's lives. You know, I've been a benefit of that. And, and for me, sort of, you know, post my career, I, you know, it's a legacy that I, you know, I keep on talking about that we want to leave, you know, past, you know, what we've done. And I think this obviously goes a long way in us establishing that um, and not just, you know, establishing it, but hopefully keep it going. Um, it keeps a beautiful, fantastic building, a building close to my heart, you know, re renovates it, uh, brings it back to life, which again is, is really exciting. But hopefully for the next 50, 100 years, this building can, can inspire the next generation, uh, but also bring families closer together and, and, and help on the social aspect as well.